Hey folks, look what came in the mail today. I got a WAP, a pretty cheap WAP, it was like 20 bucks. Uh, Zizel's the best seller apparently, okay. Basically this is an AP. I use a Buffalo router as an AP right now, running DDWRT, and it has problems. Uh, for whatever reason, it just likes to drop DNS for no reason. Uh, and it has an Athros chipset. The newer versions of DDWRT are a bit broken. So I've decided to go for a much simpler device since since I'm basically dumbing down a complicated one and it's not doing its job well. I thought why not get a single purpose machine here. So this is a Zyxel uh, WAP. It's a wireless N300 one which is exactly what I had on the router anyway. Here's what it's capable of. You can put it in uh, access point mode and once you plug it into the router which is what I'm going to use you can use it in universal repeater mode which I guess is the bridge repeater that DDWRT has you can also use it in client mode so you know it basically does everything I use DDWRT for in its own box so there's pretty much no need to use DDWRT except on the main router anymore with this stuff around so what I'm going to do is uh, use this for the wireless network up here in my room. Now the way I have the network set up is I have a router I have a router downstairs with DDWRT on it as the main one. I have a power line ethernet adapter plugged into plugged in downstairs and I have one up here. And that one comes into this Netis switch right here. And then here's the Buffalo router that's currently being used as a WAP. You can see it's just plugged into the switch here. The, the power line Ethernet adapter is down there blinking away in the wall. So what I'm going to do is replace this router up here with that WAP. So without further ado, I think we need to set this thing up, see how it does. Now what I'm going to do to make life easy is probably keep the uh, SSID exactly the same even though it's not a Buffalo router I'll probably keep the same SSID that this thing has and uh, we'll roll with it so let's set this thing up and take a look at what the interface looks like here's a look at the device itself here's the Zytsol router or um, router wow uh, access point wireless access point it's got LED on the front it had it had all this plastic crap all over the top and the bottom because look at this glossy plastic it's just yeah that's gonna attract dust in a, in a nanosecond uh, on the back you have your antenna uh, sockets there you have a reset button there you can turn uh, wire you can turn wireless on and off with just a hardware switch which is nice get two LAN ports I'm only gonna be using one of them you can turn the LEDs on and off, I think it looks like. It just says LED, though. I don't know what LED it turns on and off. I guess we'll find out. And you have the power, and you have another antenna output. And on the side, you can switch it between access point, um, universal repeater, and client, all with a switch. And I kind of like that that's a hardware switch. This is a much more purpose-built device for what I'm going to use it for, which is basically the reason I bought it. And what do you get with it? papers and a CD, Ethernet cable, the antennas, and the power adapter. So, yeah, it's pretty simple stuff. So, I'm going to plug this in and uh, try to get into the web interface. Well, I set up the router here, or the access point. I keep calling it a router for some reason. The interface is pretty easy. It guides you through it really fast. I just set it up, I put the antennas on, and it rebooted. So I assume it's doing something. Might as well poke the antennas up the right way. There are a lot of things I like about this device. I like that it has um, detachable antennas and they're not built in. That's really nice. So, it's a very nice device. For how cheap it is, it's pretty good. I mean, I could have gotten wireless AC, but I have one device in my house that supports it. And that's my Chromebook. Well, maybe my T450. ThinkPad does, I'm not sure. But this, definitely not. 
So, it's a pretty typical purpose-built device. The setup is straightforward as can be. It literally just tells you to select what mode you want it in, and then enter your Wi-Fi information, which I did, so... Hooray for me. Okay, we have the Zizel access point hooked up. I have this switch on top of it, and making it the prettiest network setup ever. Just look, just look at all that. Oh, hello, Windows. So I have the antennas up. I have a single LAN cable plugged into there. And that switch, again, is plugged into the power line Ethernet adapter in the wall that goes down to the main router and modem. I'd love to move this switch somewhere, somewhere else, but, you know, whatever. Um, yeah. I did test it out, and it does work. Uh, it was really, really easy to set up. It was ten times easier than using DDWRT. So I think when I need to make an access point or a, I need to use it as a client or a repeater, I'm going to be buying these from now on instead of using DDWRT. Purpose-built devices are excellent. And DDWRT on, in newer builds has been rather broken, so that's unfortunate. But luckily there are solutions. And that's one of them. So... There you have it. Let's go to the computer and just see. There, I. Facebook, be quiet. So I just booted this T420 back up. Let's open up uh, Firefox and make sure. Uh, make sure we uh, we uh, we get some internet, some that them their internet out of this. So, what's everybody's favorite test? Google. There you go. Google works, and of course the icon does not have an exclamation mark in it you're golden all literally all i had to do was make sure it was set in um in ap mode you plug you plug the router just into a laptop or a computer you have lying around uh you run the setup you s you select your ssid set your password it it goes into it it reboots and then the 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 web browser really never goes anywhere after that so what you do is you just ignore that and you go plug it in and it'll work it was dead easy it took me f like 5 minutes to set this thing up so i tend to like this a lot more than um than i did the ddwrt setup i had before now the question is will this be stable over time um uh, I get. I will find out later. I'm sure, but I, I have a feeling that this is actually this is going to be a lot more stable over time. So, I'll test it over the next couple days, and uh, we'll see how it does. Uh, not on this computer, obviously. Uh, the computer that uses Wi-Fi the most is my bedside computer. So I'll give that a good test over the next while, and we'll see what happens. But in the meantime, that was a really really painless setup. Very happy with that. These Zizel things, these Zizel things seem to be pretty good at first. We'll see how, we'll see what that's like over uh, over the next couple days. Well, after spending some time using this WAP, I can officially say that it beats the app ever-loving crap out of that Buffalo router running DDWRT. I don't have any DNS dropouts. Nothing weird happens. Um, it just works it just works so I can definitely recommend if you have a router that sucks at doing wireless or sucks as an access point get one of these because purpose-built devices like this are great this was twenty dollars on eBay and it's wireless N300 it's not wireless AC but for twenty bucks you can't really expect that For twenty bucks this is well worth it it works great up here wireless N300 is really all I need right now um, I don't need AC because I have one device that supports it maybe two so it's really not worth it to me at this point. Wireless N is fine. And it does the job. It works great. It's purpose built is the way to go. I also decided to put the access point on top of the switch so that it fits a little better in this setup. The reason I have the switch sideways is because of all these cables. So yeah, the cables go down there and they go through the vent, actually. So there you have it folks. That is the um that is the Zeitzel access point wireless access point WAP <laughs> I can definitely recommend wireless access points that are purpose built like this they work great so I'm happy with it uh, this is just a little update to my networking setup that I think will uh, serve me well for quite a while here so anyway I hope you enjoyed this video 
Have a good one, everybody. Ciao.